Russell Brand has returned to Instagram to plug his stay-free show amid the recent allegations surrounding the comedian. The 48-year-old has been accused of rape, assault and emotional abuse between 2006 and 2013, at the height of his fame following an investigation with The Times, The Sunday Times and Channel 4's dispatches. He has denied the allegations and said in a statement that he refuted the claims and insisted the relationships he has had were all consensual. The comedian has since faced further allegations from other women who have come forward. It was also recently revealed that the Metropolitan Police have opened an investigation into a number of allegations of sexual offenses it had received. The full statement from the police force reads, detectives have launched an investigation into allegations of sexual offenses. Following an investigation by Channel 4's dispatches and the Sunday Times, the Met has received a number of allegations of sexual offenses in London. We have also received a number of allegations of sexual offenses committed elsewhere in the country and will investigate these. The offenses are all non-recent. Officers will be offering specialist support to all of the women who have made allegations. The investigation is being carried out by detectives in the Met's Central Specialist Crime Command, led by Detective Superintendent Andy Furphy. Brand has continued to post online following the allegations and he returned to social media once again to promote the latest episode of his Rumble video subscription platform. On his Instagram stories, he shared a screenshot of the guests who would be joining him for the upcoming episodes across the week, including Aaron Mate, Dr. Robert Epstein and Glenn Greenwald. The comedian's promotion comes just hours after he encouraged his fans to sign up for a paid subscription on Rumble, following the comedian's earnings being suspended on YouTube last week. Speaking to over 70,000 viewers on Rumble this evening, Brand said at one point, the global media war against free speech is in full swing, how do I know? Take a guess. Today. Of course, we're talking about events of the last week but, in particular, the collusion between big tech and government and an apparent concerted effort by legacy media and now the state and big tech to silence independent media voices. Obviously, it's difficult for me to be entirely objective given the events of the past week but that's what we'll try to do. During his broadcast tonight, September 25th, Brand also encouraged his fans to donate and sign up to Rumble, with subscribers paying a minimum of $60 £48, a year to subscribe to the Comedian's channel. The broadcast follows YouTube suspending Brand from earning money on their platform last week. In a statement on September 19, YouTube said, we have suspended monetization on Russell Brand's channel for violating our creator responsibility policy. If a creator's off-platform behavior harms our users, employees or ecosystem, we take action to protect the community. The company said that it had suspended Brand's channel from the YouTube Partner Program following serious allegations against the creator. This action means the channel is no longer able to monetize on YouTube. The decision applies to all channels that may be owned or operated by the 48-year-old, it added. Prior to dispatches airing on September 16, Brand vehemently denied criminal and very serious allegations he said had been put to him by two media outlets, describing it as a coordinated attack. Addressing his millions of followers ahead of the Channel 4 broadcast, Brand said on September 15, I've received two extremely disturbing letters or a letter and an email. One from a mainstream media TV company, 
one from a newspaper listing a litany of extremely egregious and aggressive attacks, as well as some pretty stupid stuff like my community festival should be stopped, that I shouldn't be able to attack mainstream media narratives on this channel. But amidst this litany of astonishing rather broke attacks, often very serious allegations that I absolutely refute. These allegations pertain to the time when I was working in the mainstream, when I was in the newspapers all the time, when I was in the movies. And as I've written about extensively in my books, I was very, very promiscuous. Now, during that time of promiscuity, the relationships I had were absolutely always consensual. I was always transparent about that. Then almost too transparent, and am being transparent about it now as well. And to see that transparency metastasized into something criminal that I absolutely deny makes me question, is there another agenda at play? If you've been a victim of sexual assault, you can access help and resources via www. RapeCrisis.org.uk or calling the National Telephone Helpline on 0808-802-9999.